Testimony in the penalty phase of the Dylan Roof trial has ended for the week. Today's testimony came from investigators and relatives of those victims Roof shot to death inside Mother Emanuel Church. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan is in Charleston live with more on what happened in court today. Dave? Today we learned more about Dylan Roof's jailhouse journal and we heard a part of it he did not want entered into evidence. Friday's testimony gave jurors a clearer picture of Dylan Roof's mindset after his racially motivated murder spree. FBI Special Agent Joseph Hamsky showed jurors these images associated with hate groups and white supremacy he says Roof drew while he was in custody. Agent Hamsky says he even scrawled one of those images on his shoe, which he wore to court earlier this week. Jurors also saw this list of what Roof called clarifications of what he claims were false news reports about him. He insisted in one of those statements, I haven't had a black friend in years and never had a close black friend. Roof objected to this being entered into the official record. It was overruled. Prosecutors move forward with testimony from relatives of victims killed inside Mother Emanuel Church. Malcolm Graham, the brother of Cynthia Heard, told jurors Heard became a second mother to him after his mother died, encouraging him to go to college and study hard. Heard's sister Avril Jones spoke about their close relationship and the support Heard showed her after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Jurors also heard from the daughter and granddaughter of 70-year-old Ethel Lance, a self-described matriarch who raised a granddaughter and was a pillar of the community and the Mother Emanuel congregation. Prosecutors initially planned to call 38 witnesses, but said late yesterday they are not planning to call that many to the stand to give victim impact statements. We're also told they expect to wrap up their case by noon on Monday. In Charleston, Dave Jordan, 7 News.